There were some comments submitted regarding uh, the impact of sea level rise on the uh, plan. And uh, specifically, as I understand it, that a rise in sea level would impact ultimately the current uh, uh, salt pans and other areas that are at lower levels. Can you compare and I believe there were some comments submitted by uh, Mr. Uh, Cardiff as well as the Sierra Club regarding this. And I'm, I'm curious if, if you could comment on what impact sea level would rise would have on, the cur on, on your plan versus sea level rise if we were to do nothing. Yes, the impact would be greater if we do nothing, the impact will be less if we restore the landscape. Broadly speaking, the more restoration, the bigger and better the buffer to sea level rise. An obvious and significant impact from doing nothing, projections indicate sea level rise will overwhelm the existing tidal gates that exist at the bottom of the system which begins to exacerbate the nearby flooding, the infrastructure challenges, and the loss of that habitat. I will also say, board member Oleta, I'm cognizant that uh, the department's in active litigation. Yeah. Some of the questions and the comments today come from the Council for Litigants. Okay. So I'm mindful of answering both responsive to the venue or we're in with an eye towards the litigation I'm subject to. I understand, I understand entirely. Thank you. Um, Ms. Small, do you have any thoughts on that at all from the perspective of the, of the conservancy? Well, I would echo Director Bonham's comments and also um, remind the board of the Southern California Wetland Recovery Project regional strategy that was this science-based study to really look at how we restore wetlands in Southern California in the face of sea level rise. And this project incorporates many of the recommendations from that study in that we try, we need to try and connect big spaces, create um, transition areas for habitats to migrate up um, because the systems and give the system some resilience. And the current system, Director Bonham is correct, is not resilient. And if we don't do anything, we would have to close the tide gates or else we would be flooding really major roadways in Los Angeles. So. Um, I think it's it's fair to say that um, that the site will be better off. What I was trying to allude to in my comments is, you know, in that in the decade that we've been planning this project, sea level rise projections have gotten worse, and so there are opportunities as the department refines the design to think about accommodating even higher levels of sea level rise. You know, the the modeling we did was up to to five or six feet, but you could look at even higher levels because unfortunately that, that may be our future. And, and those are just trade-offs between the habitat you create today and the habitat you have in the future um, or adaptive management measures you could take along the way uh, to make the site more resilient. 